new report highlights severe exploitation of workers in the EU and it concerns migrant workers as well as EU citizens. The question is what to do about it. European trade unions call for more regulation to protect European workers, but the European Commission say it's more about implementing existing rules. Minden nap hajnaltól éjszakáig a házat kellett takarítanom. Alig kaptam enni és inni. Végül az utcán összeestem, és mentővel vittek a kórházba. Én egy kérdőm minden szedél szabah, tehát szedél lesia. Bárhák már az fényszer szükséges dieli, tehát passzport dieli mentés. This is the reality for many workers in the EU. The statements are part of a video that the EU Agency for Fundamental Rights FRA, released in connection to a report describing severe labour exploitation in Europe. The main sectors where workers are exploited are agriculture and fisheries, but it also concerns other areas such as construction, hotels and restaurants, manufacturing and domestic work in European homes. And Albin Deering, who is one of the authors of the report, says it's a problem all across Europe. Workers from several member states, like uh, Polish workers, who are exploited in Ireland and UK and the Netherlands, while Romanian workers are exploited in Hungary or in Poland. So within the European Union, there's much of work migration going on, um, including the risk of severe labour exploitation. The exploited workers come from many different countries, both inside and outside the EU. But what they have in common is that they work very long hours, 12 hours or more, six, seven days a week, sometimes getting paid one euro an hour or less. FRA calls for more workplace inspections and collaboration between police, NGOs, employers, authorities and also between EU member states to tackle the problem. Also the European Trade Union Confederation asks for more inspections, as well as tougher sanctions against exploiting employers. But they also call for more regulation. The organization's confederal secretary, Veronica Nilsson, argues that the EU single market has facilitated the exploitation of workers because the rules protecting them haven't been fully adapted to the market with free movement of labor. We would like to see is a joint and several liability, an obligation uh, on member states to make sure that you can hold the whole chain uh, of companies responsible. Because often the problems are in the supply chain and, uh, and so today companies can get away with the fact that the problems is elsewhere in the chain. At the European Commission, which is responsible for proposing EU legislation, they argue however that there are rules in place and in the pipeline, such as the proposed platform against undeclared work. And the Commission spokesperson Christian Wiegand argues that what is really needed is implementation of those rules in EU member states. I think a lot has been done in the past and has been achieved. Um, but when we talk about real severe labor exploitation, we're very often talking about undeclared work and illegal practices. So there it is mainly a question um, of enforcing uh, existing legislation, of having enough controls, labor inspections. Things like that. FRA hopes that the report will raise awareness of the problem with exploitation of workers in the EU, but if it will result in concrete actions, that remains to be seen.